Born in Sheffield, England on March 30, 1957, to Bernard and Alice, Adrian Tim says his working-class parents, who were impacted by both world wars, had a very pragmatic view on life which they passed on to their children. His father, pictured here with Adrian on his knee, was a steel worker and left school at the age of 14. His father was a lifelong, avid reader, and Adrian remembers accompanying him every couple of weeks to the public library. He says his parents fostered in him and his brothers, David, Alwyn, and Andrew, a desire to learn and to work hard in their education, which led to each of them achieving a level of international recognition in their fields. As a self-proclaimed all-rounder academically, teachers predicted Adrian would become a writer or linguist. He says they also thought he needed to stop talking in class, but that's a different story. After conducting a number of chemistry experiments in the family kitchen, Adrian decided to study science and eventually landed in food science at the University of Leeds with a central desire to use imagination and food technology to innovate. He also felt a strong pull to escape Sheffield and its flagging steel industry. When not studying, he was a road crew member and got to work on gigs with Leonard Skinner, Santana, Wishbone Ash, and Elvis Costello, among others. He says he realized that becoming a rock star wasn't for him, but he did enjoy putting together wicked party mixtapes, as pictured here. After a summer job cleaning out gelatin cookers for Bassett's licorice all sorts, Adrian wasn't sure the confection industry was for him either. Two things changed his mind. Cadbury visiting his university campus with its new product innovation team and walking up to the Cadbury factory for a job interview and smelling the aroma of roasting chocolate. He got the job and spent his first two years in the UK Cadbury R&D and technical departments as a management trainee before working as a research scientist and process engineer. On his first day, he was given the assignment of tempering chocolates by the mush method on a marble slab and using the chocolate to dip and coat cookies. Not yet fitted with his own uniform, he was loaned one. He says he totally misjudged the amount of chocolate and vastly overtempered the mass. The chocolate ran over the edge of the table and into his over-large uniform pants, which promptly fell down around his ankles. At that moment, the master confectioner walked into the lab. Surviving the pants incident, he met Irvette when she visited Cadbury in England. As a joke, a mutual colleague introduced Adrian to Irvette, saying, Meet your future husband. Their romance blossomed when they both ended up working at Cadbury USA after Adrian emigrated. They married in 1986 in another town called Sheffield, this one in Massachusetts. At Cadbury, USA, he says David Brooks and Candy Hall of Famer Morris Jeffries' faith in him led to leadership responsibilities with significant capital projects and developments. This set him up to continue his career when Hershey took over Cadbury, USA in 1988. At Hershey, Adrian continued his work in R&D before eventually moving into the role of manager Innovation Process and Strategy, Global Marketing Strategy, and Brands. While at Hershey, Irvet and Adrian welcomed sons Liam and Devin, and Adrian says he and Irvet followed his parents' principles of being part of a consistent, shared duty team when rearing their sons. He also managed to earn a Master's in Food Marketing at St. Joseph's University in 1999. Despite being what he calls irritatingly detail-oriented, Adrian says he has a strong conceptual ability that allows him to focus on the big picture. In 2009, he designed and developed Hershey's first-generation company-wide open innovation program before being named Principal Scientist Chocolate Research Global R&D. Among his recognitions at Hershey was an R&D peer award for being an outstanding out-of-the-box thinker. He is seen here conducting a Hershey strategic planning event. After leaving the company in 2015, Adrian became the Senior Director for Food Science Confectionery with CHU LLC before becoming an innovation consultant and establishing A. Tim's Consulting LLC. It is said that Adrian can often be heard using a variety of quaint Yorkshire expressions. Some are apparently not repeatable here tonight. However, one of his favorites that we can mention is it's about as useful as a chocolate teapot. Adrian believes it is important to know the difference between excellence and perfection and strive for excellence. 
He adds it's important to understand the confectionery industry is a contact sport. Adrian became involved in industry affairs to make and maintain contacts, which has brought unexpected benefits professionally and personally. He held numerous leadership positions during his career, including president and chairman of the PMCA. He is pictured here at a PMCA conference along with other officers, Candy Hall of Famer Peter Blommer, Doug Larian, Peter Hyde, and Yvette Thomas. He has also been a frequent facilitator for ideation and strategic planning sessions for the Chocolate Manufacturers Council and has presented technical seminars for the AACT and is pictured here presenting at the 2018 PMCA conference. For his work with PMCA, Adrian received special recognition for turnaround leadership as chairman of the research committee and for visionary leadership of the association as president and chairman. He is pictured here with her vet at the PMCA Centennial Ball at the Hotel Hershey in 2010. Adrian's expertise isn't limited to chocolate. He has penned a children's story, Mousy and the Magic Pumpkin, that has been well received, but he has yet to publish. His current mission is to be more involved with small companies and startups to help them innovate bigger. He is also a winemaker, dabbles in mixology, and is known to concoct cocktails themed to a friend's party. Adrian is apparently quite the interesting party guest. Pictured here with her vet, dressed as Lucius and Narcissa Malfoy with Lord Voldemort. Reflecting on his career, Adrian says he sees retirement as a portfolio item, which hopefully includes keeping a hand in the confectionery industry. He also looks forward to being blissfully distracted by grandchildren and praying for his hometown soccer team, Sheffield Wednesday, which we have been told needs all the help they can get. Honored guests, please welcome Adrian's wife, Yvette, to present his Candy Hall of Fame plaque and pin.